did you know that it will take you an extra 2,000 steps to walk off that water drink? <laughs> what? Try new arsenic water, and you'll never take another step in your life. I'm not sure I should be drinking arsenic. People like never believe me when I tell them I'm a virgin. They're all like, you're a prostitute. You have sex for money. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if all 11 of my openings have been violated numerous times for varying amounts of cash. I mean, they just don't get it. See, what people don't understand is it's about survival. Just because I became somebody's bitch and got violated in all 10 of my holes, doesn't mean I liked it. Dude, you had sex for protection. You're like a prostitute. Protection, dude. No, no, no. Yeah. See, my- He even had a pet name for you. My prison name to bet represented my experience. I was undisputed territory. So, what, you're like still a virgin? No, 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 no. See, until little JJ gets inside of a JJ, I'm as pure as a unicorn. We tell people all the time that we aren't virgins, even though we've never had sex. Yeah, we don't believe that vaginal, oral, nasal, or anal penetration counts. It's all about the mind sex. When I first met him, I thought all he wanted was to get into my pants. I was only half right. I just wanted to get into her mental pants. Who wants mind-blowing physical stimulation when you can imagine it? So I had to explain it to him like this. I'm like, imagine the money is a condom that stops you from losing your virginity. <laughs> it's not a hard concept to understand. Honey, I'm home. You little bizzle. Hello? Oh, hey. Is everything okay? Yeah, no, what? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, slow down. Did you get into my crack again? I don't know, I just... Okay, this is about that maxi pad I let you borrow last night. It's fine, I don't need it back. It's really gross. No, 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 this is serious. Like the time you had mono didn't tell everyone serious and we all played lick the cup? Or like the radio provider serious? Stop talking. Do you remember those guys that we were dancing with on Friday night? Yeah. Well, I went home with one. So? So it turns out he was a zombie. Damn. Club lighting will conceal just about everything. It's all right, man. You'll do better next time. You don't get it, do you? You got a little rough with me. I don't know, man. That's a test. It's ready. Oh my god, I can't look. I can't look. You look. Where is it? In the, there. Sorry, dude. What am I gonna do now? I'm a zombie. And I'm not. And to keep it that way, I take Zombex. Zombex is clinically proven to help limit zombie outbreaks to only a few outbreaks a month. I still get zombie outbreaks. But thanks to Zombex, they're under control. Zombex is not FDA approved. Even while using Zombex, it's still possible to spread zombieism, so proper sexual protection is advised. Thanks, Zombex!
Possible side effects include nausea, diarrhea, heartburn, zombie-like behavior, taste for human brains, love for VH1 programming, fear of daylight, and death. Hillary Clinton, senator, activist, and former first lady. She's got a lot going for her, except one major flaw. Hillary Clinton doesn't have a penis. You're joking, right? No penis? Wow. I had no idea. For real? Hillary? Straight up for realsies. In fact, this shocking new poll reveals the truth behind the senator's power suits. That's right. Although Senator Clinton would like you to believe she's equipped, her crotch is nothing more than a black hole waiting to swallow the American dream. 100% of former presidents have had penises, and voting for a vagina means the terrorists have truly won. America needs a strong penis that's firm in ideals and doesn't flip-flop around in the issue. America needs Barack Obama's penis. Vote for me, America. I'm Barack, and I have a cop.